pass. I expect everyone to be quiet. No cutting up. <laughs> Today we will learn that pi equals pi. <laughs> hey! This. <laughs> I'm sure you were all aware that my name is Albert Einstein and let me start class by saying something about myself. <laughs> I was born in Ulm, Germany in 1879. Or I must confess, when I was in school I was not very good, but I was studying all the time. What is this? Explain yourself to me. Why you come to my class late? And why you all cracking up? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. I went to the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology. I applied and applied there and finally they accepted me. When I was in school, there were many holes in theories. Some theories said that there were particles in light that floating on something called ether, but none of us could prove ether. What is ether? In 1905, I published four papers that tried to fill in the void left by Isaac Newton. In this paper, I developed a formula which is simply E equals MC squared. <laughs> For this is my formula of energy. E equals energy, M equals mass, and C equals speed of light times itself. In my studies, it indicates that light is not a particle, but functions more as a wave. The solar eclipse recently proved, helped prove one of my studies right. What are you doing? Sharpening up. <laughs> you go sit down. Did you have permission to stand up? It's not sharpened. You have five seconds, young lady. <laughs> During the eclipse, stars around the moon seem to be out of place. It's sharpened now. Well, I hope you're proud of yourself. In 1933, Hitler and the Nazi party took over my native Germany. While all this was going on, I became well and active in a movement known as Zionism. Zionism is a movement that allows Jews to have their own country in the Middle East. As hostilities increased, I moved into a new home in the United States. I became very popular in my theories on relativity. Relativity is the theory that reality changes based on your perception. I was, I was proud to become a United States citizen in 1940. We got to war with Germany, but I still helped the U.S. to build a secret weapon. This weapon had destructive power like no one has seen before. In 1948, the State of Israel was found, but in 1952, they invited me to be the president and that I was greatly honored but humbly declined. I decided to stay at Princeton University. In this new nuclear age, we found ourselves plagued with unknowns, such as radiation. After dropping the bombs on Japan, we unleashed a new monster of sorts. Our new fears even affected our popular entertainment. I don't know anything about giant bugs or shrinking men. But radiation scared people, and it still does. I died in 1955, but not until I saw myself become a pop icon. Any questions? Class dismissed. What is this?
best to go.